Yo, Darren Ralph here, Ralph with Customs. Back for another week of gentle pottering. I don't mean making pots, do I? I mean fucking getting on here, lot. So this week I are going to cut this shit off. That's next. This, that, these. Take the shockers off, and then we're going to make a seat loop that puts the seat where we want it. And then we're going to look at redoing the shocker mount. So interesting times. Interesting times. First up is unbolt these. That's not even bolted up. Well, anyway, first up, just take these off. Cut this shit off with a grinder and clean all the tubing up as if it was never there. So, I won't bore you with me cutting and grinding. You've seen enough of that. Um, but I'll get on and you can join me once that's done. Well, I know. So, it's a fucking snap of the fingers and a blink of an eye for you, but it's an hour later in real time, in Ralphie time. Oh, didn't need that anyway. So we cut all that shit off basically and dressed it up, look. And there was uh, a piece here that we didn't need in here and there was two, oh, it's still up, bastard. There's some shit down there that we had to get out of the way. So we grind it. What I do is grind it off with a grinder, clean it all with a sander and then dress it up with a fucking old tube fucking sander. Good bit of kit these are, fucking happy days. So. Now we can look at creating a seat loop. So if you can hear next door are fucking banging around a lot. We can look at creating this. I'm not sure what we're gonna use for that, so I'm gonna go and check my stock. Right, next up is to make the fucking, oh, look at these. You could fucking tow a car with that. Side mount. People buy these shitty ones for too much money that snap. These won't fucking snap. Anyway, I digress. Time to try and do this fucking, yeah, mount that bastard on there now. I've been racking my brains about the best way to do this because it's always a fucking pain in the arse to follow the contour of a seat. And we've got lumpy bumpies here. It's not, you can't, if I run it flush, it's going to poke out there because of that. Unless I adapt that, which I can. But then it's going to, poke out there because of this. I'm not going to cut all that out. You were cutting the seat basin off. So, I think my plan is going to be to do a loop that this sits on and go from there, I think. Or one each side. Not sure. Really not fucking sure. But we've got plenty of fucking inch tube, which I think is going to be about the right size. You know, this is only thin walled. I won't make a frame out of it. But it'll do nicely for this seat loop, I believe. Right, oh, so uh, this is very much going to be a seat of the pants type thing. We've made a template, a Simon template, out of aluminium welding rod. Yeah, TIG rod. Uh, and that's kind of a guide. I think we're going to start with a loop, but I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is take some of this over to the fucking benderina Rooney over here. We'll have it in here. Like fucking so. Uh, and bend it up to the desired, won't we? To fucking... 90 degrees or thereabouts. I can't really do it one handed. Um, but we'll have that like that. And we know that uh, we're going to make that flush with the end. And we're going to go 90 degrees. And we'll do that for both ends. And then we'll cut it off. Yeah? So, oh, pardon me. 
Wish me luck. So we ended up doing slightly over 90, obviously. Obviously, look, because they go to a fucking narrow at the front there. Um, and what I'm going to do next is slice these like that. And we're going to have a join there. And from there, I know we want to bend down towards the front. So we're going to do that as well. Um, if it don't line up, I'm not going to stress. I'm going to cut the fucker here and put a join in it. So I can roll it. So I can roll this piece round to get the shape I want because... It's the only way I can see of getting it fucking smack on, to be fair, like. I know this wants to go down, obviously. Look, that wants to bend down to go that way, into that hole right here. But it's also got a fucking go on the angle of the dangle. It's not straight down. It's fucking pissed up. Look, i trying to show you from the front. So not only does it go down, but it needs to go together as well. It needs to go that way, not that way. So... That's tricky to fucking orchestrate, to be fair. Um, which is why I might put a join in so we can rotate it, which is fine. Work smarter, not harder. Right, so we've got one in place, look. Kind of comes along. I might take a bit out of this and snug this up, but then I'll have to snug that up, and then I'll have to look at how I'm going to finish this, this loop. Yeah, finish this and join it to the fucking bike. So, that's where I'm at. Uh, they're both the same, they're both fit, everyone's fucking cool, like, everything's cool, everything's small. But, I'm fucked if I know how to end it. How to finish it off, whether to try and tuck it in, in here somehow, which I can't really do. Because it needs to bolt on. It can bolt on without the seat though, and then we can have a piece of cross and a fucking hook, can't we? Yeah, that would work. So maybe bring it to a point, join the two ends together like that, uh, and then put a boss with a bolt or like a shock amount of a U that goes over it and a solid boss that's threaded or a summit. Or summit of the summit. I like that, I like that a lot. Righto, so we have the jigsaw puzzle that seems to be about right. And what I'm going to do is join them together there. There's going to be a piece of cross with a hook for this. And uh, some fancy fucking schmancy mountain something. I haven't got forever. I'm going to fucking mount it on the frame. I know we've got rear ones coming up like this. So we're going to have a bit of this action. Off, the, off that rail there, like, we're going to have that swoopy uppy. So we've got a firm mount here and two points and and, and so hopefully. Yeah. yeah, what I meant to say before pressing stop on record is I'm going to fucking tack it up. So I'm using the seat that is going to no doubt be recovered as a fucking jig because it needs to fit the seat. So that's that, look. I need to fucking check and double check but I'm thinking that's your fucking seat Luke look like that that sits like that and then we're going to curve it up for that back section somehow so that's going to go like that oh, I've got it upside down I'm oh, on bear it so that sits like that fuck it up basically don't it no basically it does sit like that just like that. <laughs> Just like that. <clears throat> and then we're going to have curved rails at the back. Fucking somewhere across the chat. Happy days. The biggest fucking quandary now. The bit I can't wrap my head round. Because <clears throat> of how things are. If you know, you know. Thank you so much, everybody. It's fitting that fucker. How's that going to join on there? I don't know. I can't work that out. We'll do something posh looking, won't we? For sure. And by the power of magic, the, ow, the power of television, there yeah, we got it ticked up. So that is the start of something beautiful, hopefully. Uh, we've got these rear ones to make. 
I might have to do a bit of warming up and bending to do that. I don't think I can get the radii that's going to match that very easily. Well, I know I can't with my fucking bend up, so. Excuse me, shitty real ass. So, uh, yeah, that's onward and upwards, and we'll have a think about this in the meantime. Don't forget, folks, our fuck stock stickers are now available in our Etsy store. Link in the description below. Fuck stock, you know it makes sense. Right, on to mounting that loop. Now, I have a cunning plan. So, it's going to be seat to the pants engineering. I'm going to make it up as we go along, but I'm going to do like a... a oh, you'll have to see. This, this is going to go on the end of the fucking seat loop that I've just made. Um, and, but it's going to be sectioned out and it's going to take uh, inserts, one threaded one with an hole in it, like the threaded one most to the frame, etc, etc. That's my plan, so we'll see what happens. Right, oh, so that is going to go on there, right? And in this end, we're going to have a countersunk doodle that takes a bolt. We're going to have a socket that takes a bolt welded into the end of the tube. And this is going to have a slot to take a bit of a mounting tube that's going to hold the other half that's threaded. So that'll go there, yeah. We'll have a slotted bit and two chats. One's welded to this and the other one's fixed to the frame. So you slide that onto the bit on the frame and fucking Bob's your auntie. Makes sense to me. Clear as fucking mud. Let's see how it plans out. First up, I've got a miller slot in this. One inch slot. Halfway along. So... Let's get on with it. Right, oh, so we've set the pot in the vise. We're running uh, an annular cutter. Thanks to our aid, bless you, mate. And I'm going to plunge it through nice and steady. I'm a bit fricked, to be fair, like, but these fucking things work amazing. So here we go. We've found the middle. We've guessed left to right. It don't really matter. As long as it's no more than halfway. It could be a bit more than halfway. And we're gonna plunge that through. Right, so look, like a fucking nice food butter, that is. That's 24 mil through, which will give us clearance for the mountain. Um, now what I'm gonna do is move it along a bit. I'm gonna see if I can use it like a milling cutter. So I'll move it along a bit. Go again. Come on, baby. Same again, move it along. There you go, break through. Now I'm thinking, we can just lefty right at it. Right, it's fucker. Mm, maybe not so happy doing that, eh? Didn't seem to like that, did it? So, we'll go back to nibbling. Right, so. Till it don't cut anymore and then wind it back and it'll just smooth it out a little bit like that and sorted happy fucking days okay with that on and this pointing where we need it to so when it mounts on the bike it's fucking gonna hit the tube that's there like you know not gonna clout the fucking seat base we need to make the inserts so we're gonna turn this down and we're going to make one that welds into that bit of uh, inch and a quarter tube that I've just formed and one that slides in easily. So we need the slides in easily to be uh, threaded, I think, because that's the one that's going to be welded to the frame. Fucking dokey. So we want one. Let me check that's tight in the fucking truck off camera. Yeah. We want one at 27.6 by 30 and one at 24. 5 by 30 so we'll start to cut and we'll have a measure we'll have more of a cut than that thank you very much we want a nice clean up don't we so here we go Let's see what size that is that is 29.18 I've got, so we'll set a digital readout. X, 
29.18 enter and we want 27.6 which is there come on baby there so we need a roll hold on bear with right we need 30 mil at this diameter so we're gonna go plenty there aren't we let's fucking just send it hey bit of loop because that's what separates us from the animals hey boys To bear with somebody here. So. It might be John who won't appear on camera, so you can join me once I've machined this down further. Right, so we've done one end, we've spun it around, and we're just doing the other end of that bit of stock down to 25. This is for the uh, for the one that's going to be fixed. So I've changed my tool in as well to get a good finish because. You can see this one. So I'm just lubing that up and sending it, and we'll get it down to 30 mil long. And this one's going to have a M10 thread, I believe. So we do that in a separate operation. There we go. Happy day. Right. So we've just machined that to size and drilled it out to the tapping size for M10 so oh, let's just change up bear with so we'll give it a quick chamfer man like so Throw everything down and come in with a machine tap I'm not sure where I got this from I don't know how good it is but I'm hoping it's fucking great oh yeah it's fucking great so we'll send that turning out his curly whirlies until it don't want to go anymore come on baby nudge it right up right oh that's all threaded um it just leaves me to fucking part it off so let's get you move round to there look get a parting tool in or the farting farting pole get the farting pole in there like this uh, and look at what did we say 30 millimeters so that is there all day long. Let's see what that fucking does. Let's have a look. Yeah, in like that. Give it some power feed, plenty of lube. And then we realise we've not set the fucking thing right. Bear with. So, there. Try again. 30mm is there. Happy fucking days. Plenty of looby doo bit. And we'll get that wanged off in short order. Boosh, sorted. So, here we are at the other end of the equation. We parted off the, the other part of these two components. This is the one that's going to have the bolt through it, not screwed into it. And it's going to be uh, fitted into the seat loop socket that I made so we start off with a nice centre drill as always and then come in with a 10 mil clearance that's going to go all the way through so we'll keep backing it out and lubing it up as we go right, before finishing it off with an end mil to a depth of about 10 mil, I think. So there we go, curly whirlies, plenty of lube. There's two mil for come on, baby. There's six. I'm just going to back that out, lube it up again. Oh, yeah, lovely job of that. Nice bit of lube, don't it? Who don't? There's eight and on to ten, which is... Come on, baby. There. Right. Put that off out of the way. Break that edge. Like fucking so. Break that edge. And now that should fucking fall through there, look. I can tie through the hole up, sir. Might. Mm. 
I might go a bit bigger on the through hole because uh, once it's painted, powder coated, whatever. So yeah, I'll do that. I'll run that through, um, and then we'll see. It, we'll see at the bench where I'll have it all fitted into the seat loop. So this is what we've got. Look, we've got those two bolted together with an M10 cap head bolt, and basically it's going to go in there. Like that. This one's going to be welded to that, so that's fixed to the seat. This one's going to have a bit of tube, not this size, not inch, because it won't fit like, but a bit of seven eighths or something. Sorry, I'm not showing you very well. Just to bridge the gap from here to the, where it sits on the frame, from the, from the front of the seat that I'm not showing you clearly to where it sits just below the tank. So it's going to stick out on a leg like that. That's my plan. So I'm going to get that tigged in there off, off camera. Um, and then we'll try and work out how long this piece needs to be and kind of go from there, I reckon. Sure, we're smoking and st I'm talking loud to get a bit wireless so we don't get a copyright strike. But there we go, that's it. Welded in place. That's all she wrote. So, we now need to work out this sticky outy bit that's going to weld to the to the frame to fix it to the bio frame. So, wobbly wobbly look. Um, so I'll, I'll see what I can do about that. Okay, that's the welded on bit. We need to trim this now. We need to work out how long this is going to be and trim that off so that we can pop it in there like that and weld it to the frame. And then that'll be happy fucking days. Then we can look at the back part of the loop and we're going to do uh, this. Same as I've just done, but not, not cover it with a thick bit of tube. And I'll be bigger than that there for someone else. Like, you get the picture. Ain't it? Happy days. Right, now comes another fucking tricky bit because somehow I've got to mock it up so I can work out where that needs to be at the angle of the dangly and how far away from there, look. And then work out the length of this fucking chat light. Ain't it? So what I might do is... Tape, we all behave his fucking self. Look, we're, hold on, bear with. There we go. I might fucking tape that in place on the fucking seat. Something like that. And then uh, look at where it needs to be. I might do that. I might fucking do that. Don't right, know. crisis averted. Not averted. <laughs> it wasn't a crisis either, but there we go. That's got it. That's got the badger, hasn't it? We'll just lift it up there. I might even take a bit out of the scalloped area to give us a bit more wiggle of the diggle, but there we go. That's how we've done that fucker. Yeah. Now we need this, something in here that bolts on. And then the back pieces, sorry, the back pieces to copy the uh, seat. Let's get the seat back on. Hold on. And there we go. Let's come back here, look. So, that's where it's gonna fucking sit. And we need to do some whoopity whoopities in here that bolt on, and then we need to do some whoopity whoopities up the back of the seat that weld on. So, that's next on the agenda. But, I'll grab a quick screen grab for this thumbnail, because that seat's lovely. Right now, time for some lathe action. So we start with the bandsaw, we're going to cut a chunk of this off and then we're going to machine it into the bosses that hold the rear rails on the frame. I won't film myself making those because you've just seen me do the big front one like and it's only going to be like that, uh, only a wee bit smaller. Okay, fucking dokey. So we've just turned that off and we've got the next pieces of the puzzle. They'll take the 10mm uh, cap head, flush. And it will screw into that like that. So on the frame, we're going to have something, something like that, with the tubes coming off. That will go from the bottom there near the swing-on pivot, curve up to the, under the seat. Oh, I know we've reached an impasse. So doing these curved bits of tube. <clears throat> I need one for the back of the seat, and I need something in there now. I've eated and bended. Yeah. So we've had a few goes. It's the best resort I've managed to get warming up and tweaking, and it's shit. It's fucking like a thruppy bit, and it's fucking it's spread. It's not right. I thought about packing it with sand, but never done it. 
and then warming it up. Not something I've ever worked on. And I don't have a sand hand, I don't know. Well, I don't know what I'm fucking doing with that, do I, to be fair, like. I have got a big uh, bender, <laughs> a big bender, and it just makes a fucking mess. It was one of the biggest wastes of money I've ever bought. So we go back to my JD square tube bender, and I can't get a big radius. This is the biggest radius I can get, so we've got... Ah, oh, fuck off. Oh. I'm not happy with it, really. I, I might be able to make these work and they, they follow some lines, you know. I might be able to fucking get a bit of this action going on. <clears throat> but it's not going to do that bad bit. And I don't want to spend a grand on a fucking ring roller to get it like so. Uh, suggestions in the comments below. There you fucking go, that's it. Uh, I'm going to call it done because, as you've just seen, I need to dig a bit deeper to look at how I'm going to do that change it up or whatever but that's me done thank you for bearing with uh, those that know know it certainly is a bumpy ride but i'm still here plodding along so i really really appreciate all of your support and uh big love everyone i'll see you on the next one